Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, you will learn about customizing the Record Picker Data Entry Control. A Record Picker allows the print operator to select specific entries from a connected database that they want to print. To utilize a Record Picker, the object or objects on the template need to be connected to the database. You will find the Record Picker listed in the Data Entry Controls drop-down menu towards the bottom of the list in the Database Records category. Select the Record Picker and place it on your form. Adjust the size of the Record Picker to your liking. The Record Picker will appear on the form at print time as it appears in the Design area. To customize the Record Picker, right-click on it and select Properties. You can customize the Record Picker itself the columns within the record picker, and the font of the text displayed in the record picker. The search control adds a search bar at the top of the record picker table. Using the search control, you can enter a search term to search every field in the database. You have the option to show or hide the search control on the record picker. The filter row search tool searches only in specific fields of the database. Again, you can choose to show or hide the filter row. These three checkboxes allow you to configure the columns inside the record picker. If you enable Show Column Headers, you will also be able to lock the column order and the column widths. If you do not lock the column order or column widths, you can adjust these features by hand on the record picker control itself. If you choose not to Show Column Headers, all columns will be locked in place with a fixed width. The Sort By feature allows you to select a specific field which will display its contents in alphabetical order. The Group By feature allows you to consolidate records by a specified field. Selection Mode allows you to determine how the print operator can select records to print. Single allows only one record at a time to be selected. Extended allows the use of the Shift and Control keys to select multiple records. Toggle allows multiple items to be added and removed simply by clicking again. The Selector column allows you to add an additional column for the print operator to make record selections. The Checkbox option lets the operator make a single selection of that item, whereas the Quantity option allows for the designation of multiple copies of a record. Row Highlighting allows you to add alternating light and dark background colors to each row in the table to make it easier to look through large numbers of records. These last three options, Record Numbers, Record Navigator, and Record Selection Input Box are additional features that can aid the print operator. Record Numbers provides a column that numbers each record. The Record Navigator is a tool at the bottom of the record picker to assist the print operator with browsing the record set. The print operator can page through record by record every 10 records, or go directly to the first or last record in the database. The Record Selection Input box shows the print operator what record selections have been made, or it can be used to enter in which records are to be selected. You can further configure the record picker by column. In the Columns pane, you can see all the columns that will be included in the form. In the Columns Property pane to the right are the various column attributes that can be configured. Since the first column is highlighted, we can adjust the appearance of this column by selecting an attribute like background color and opening the corresponding menu to the right of the attribute. Here you will see the options available for this attribute. At the bottom of the column properties pane is an explanation of that attribute. Again, with the bold attribute, there is an explanation at the bottom and the option box to the right. The size adjustment attribute allows you to enter in a whole number to adjust the point size of the font within the column. Display Name allows you to change the name in the column header. In the Layout section is an attribute called Visible. This lets you hide a column. If you select No as the visible attribute, the column will not appear on the form. However, the column is still present and can be made visible at a later time. You can configure any or all of the columns in the Record Picker control. You can also change the column order by using the blue arrows at the bottom on the Columns pane. Select the column you want to move and click the up arrow to move it up or the down arrow to move it down. 
If you have fields in your database that you do not want to include in the record picker, you can delete columns altogether instead of just hiding them. By default, Bartender automatically creates columns for each database field in your database. You can, however, deselect this option to have more control over what the record picker pulls from the database. At the bottom of the columns pane, next to the blue arrows, there is now a red X, which you can use to delete a column. This other icon allows you to add a new column if you choose to add columns back to the record picker. The Resize All Columns to Fit Width of Record Picker option will automatically resize the columns to fit inside the record picker, eliminating the print operator's need for any side scrolling. The Font Pane allows you to change the typeface, font style, and the font size for all of the text in the record picker. To quickly recap, in this video, you learned that you can configure the Record Picker data entry control, the individual columns within the Record Picker, and the font for text displayed in the Record Picker control. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.